गुड मॉर्निंग अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीबॉडी कैन यू हियर मी ऑल ओके लास्ट टाइम बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माय लेक्चर वंस अगेन आई मेक काइंड ऑफ अ रिमाइंडर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू ऑल नो दैट योर क्विजेस आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड योर इंग्लिश क्विज वालेकुम सलाम आयशा बेटा योर इंग्लिश क्विज आई हैव अपलोडेड द सिलेबस एंड date of english quiz on google classroom and i hope you all know that your english quiz is going to be conducted tomorrow means 23rd of july and syllabus for tomorrow's quiz is the voice of god okay and i ask you to prepare the voice of god very carefully and very thoroughly what you are supposed to learn especially the reference of the poet which is very very important like the date of birth and date of death of the poet uh, the name of the university from where he studied and theme of the poetry plus the verses okay the verses you have to learn because i have made your mcqs from your first lesson complete first lesson including the verses and reference of the poet okay so you have to learn your first lesson very very carefully and thoroughly how you are supposed to start to uh, do your quiz your quiz will be in mcqs form okay your quiz will be in mcqs form three options will be given to you and you have to pick out the the correct option aisha beta uh, the if you are asking about my class code then obviously you have joined my join my class by clicking on the same link i am not getting your answer your question what do you want to ask google classroom ka code can you please elaborate your question so you can uh, you can get your answer accordingly okay okay uh, harim there will be no limitation for the time because it is your first quiz and we are giving you a kind of a leniency Uh, that is why we are not going to give you any kind of time limit uh, maybe it can be of 24 hours okay full one day you are going to get for your quiz because this is for your first time this will be your first attempt that is why we are going to give you 24 hours to do your quiz uh, uh sad then you will get your quiz in google classroom on thursday tomorrow then you will open that quiz and you will do your quiz you will click on the option submit it will already submitted and the results will be shown to you and i will also get your result okay beta i will upload your quiz tomorrow because it is going to be conducted tomorrow tomorrow you will get your quiz on google classroom you will just click on that quiz you will do your quiz after doing after completing all the questions you will click on the submit option okay you will click on the submit option and after submitting automatically your quiz will be submitted to me to the particular teacher even you can also view your scores as well okay how much scores you have scored from that quiz i hope i am clear now Okay let's start the lecture now 
let's start the lecture everybody is here so what are we going to study today yes, on the map uh daniel beta i don't know i had i don't have any idea of any other teacher but i was uh, being instructions so mujhe di gayi thi according to those instructions we are not give, going to give you any kind of uh, duration or time limit but i will again ask the management because i was instructed that no time period will be given to you and if the time limitation is given to you then it will be of 24 24 hours okay once again i will ask the management but let me tell you your limit time limit for your quiz will be at least 24 hours but still i will ask the management again if there are any changes to make in the limit of the time to uh, time limit of your quiz i will inform you so don't worry please it's very easy and it's very simple you just have to pick out the correct options after completing your quiz you just have to submit click on the option submit after submitting your quiz will be automatically submitted to the concerned teacher uh daniel beta actually i have no idea of the other teacher i am telling you about the instructions that were being given to me the same instructions i am telling you people you can ask your concerned teacher of your physics or maths whoever is teaching you okay tomorrow i will upload your english quiz and you will get uh, you will get a proper time to do that quiz okay so don't get panicked and worry so let's start the lecture now i hope i have cleared everything about your quiz so today is our lecture number 17 and date is 22nd of july 2020 okay you must be thinking now that in this week we are studying english literature but we are not getting any kind of written assignment yes i know that you people are not getting any written assignment of your uh, uh, lectures because your literature journals are with us with the teachers next week please listen me very carefully listen to me very carefully next week i am going to give you the review the reinforcement of the lectures of the topics that i have already explained to all of you and next week with those lectures you are going to get your literature assignments as well because on friday and saturday we will return you your literature journals after checking and you will give us your language journals for checking so it will be easier for you to do your literature assignments in your literature journals because your literature assignment literature journals will be with you at that time you know that friday and saturday are the days when you are going to receive your literature journals back and you are going to submit us your language journals okay now if you remember if i give you a brief review of your previous lecture what we were doing what we were doing in our previous lecture i have told you that we have started lesson number 8 and name of the lesson is dignity of work and page number is 30 okay page number is 30 and name of the lesson is dignity of work half of the lesson i have explained you in my previous lecture on monday and remaining lecture we are going to complete today so if you recall uh, the previous lecture that was conducted on monday 
it will be easier for you to know that this lecture was about the importance of doing your work yourself this lecture was about the dignity of work the main characters of this lesson are akhtar and uncle okay uncle kinayan basically the lesson begins like this akhtar came back from school late and he was feeling so angry and annoyed when her, his mother asked him the reason of being angry or annoyed he did not answer but when all of they sat for the lunch their uncle inayat joined them and they feel very happy all the children feel very happy to see their uncle inayat even akhtar was not feeling annoyed and cross why because uncle inayat was their favorite uncle and he had been to many uh, countries of the world and he always shared interesting stories with the children then sister of akhtar told uncle inayat that akhtar was feeling cross when he came back from school uncle asked the reason of being angry then akhtar told uncle that a social service week was being held in their school where the students were made to work like servants okay so akhtar dust the cupboards the desks in the class and this thing has made him very angry and annoyed after listening the reason of being annoyed, <clears throat> annoyed or angry uncle inayat explained him the examples of our holy prophet peace be upon him and the examples of developed countries in the world how they are supposed to do their work themselves to prove the dignity of work okay so i hope it is clear let's move forward now let's move forward now come to page number 30 of your book come towards page number 30 of your book and start reading hazrat umar once carried on his shoulder a large sack of flour for a needy family what is the meaning of flour over here the meaning of flour is a rectangular shaped bag in urdu we say bori okay in urdu sack means bori so we were reading about hazrat umar hazrat umar once carried on his shoulders a large sack of flour for a needy family hazrat ali labored in the garden of a jew and gave away his wages in charity so what is the meaning of labored and wages labor means a physical or mental effort means mehnat mazduri wages wages means a payment according to contract in urdu wages means ujrat okay so beta you have to learn these things which are done by these companions of the holy prophet because these questions can be given to you in form of mcqs in form of the blanks or even in question answers as well so you have to learn that hazrat umar once carried a large sack of flour for a needy family hazrat ali labored in the garden of a jew and gave away his wages in charity hazrat fatma hazrat fatma fetched water ground corn and swept the house ground corn means makai pisna aata pisna chakki par okay so hazrat umar ne ek baar kisi zarurat mand khandan ke liye aate ki bori apne shoulder pe utha ke apne kaandhon par utha kar us khandan tak pahunchayi hazrat ali ne ek jew in aadmi ke garden mein mehnat mazduri ki aur wahan se jo ujrat nidi wo khairat sadka kar di okay hazrat fatma fetched water ground corn and swept the house now caliph umar bin abdul aziz 
challenged Umar bin Abdul Aziz refused to hire a servant to help his wife. At table, Caliph Mamun Rashid. At table, Caliph Mamun Rashid served not only himself but also his guest, Sultan Nasiruddin, earned his living by making caps and Emperor Aurangzeb by transcribing the Holy Quran. Okay, what is the meaning of transcribing? Transcribing means to make a written copy of. Transcribing means to make a written copy of. So, whether this page is very important because the works which were done by the companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is mentioned over here. You have to learn. Hazrat Umar once carried a sack of flour for the needy family. Hazrat Ali labored in the garden of a Jew and gave his wages in charity. Hazrat Fatma fetched water, ground corn, and swept the house. Caliph Umar bin Abdul Aziz refused to hire a servant to help his wife. Hazrat Okay, at table, Caliph Mamunu Rashid served not only himself but also his guests. Visam, beta switch off your camera. Sultan Nasiruddin earned his living by making caps and Emperor Aurangzeb by transcribing the Holy Quran. You have to learn all these works which were done by the companions of the Holy Prophet. Let's move forward. Akhtar, but uncle. All these are the stories of past. Uncle, oh no, it happens in the advanced countries even today. They have learned the dignity of work while we have forgotten it. In China, everyone has to spend some time each year working in the field or in a factory. Even the prime minister and his wife do this work. Okay, this question can be asked to you, what happens in China or what does everybody do in China? You have to learn that in China, every year, everyone has to spend time each year working in the fields or in a factory. Even the prime minister and his wife do this work. They believe that all ought, okay, it means all should, okay? to work and no wonder they are making such quick progress. In the USA, once I stayed with a high government official as a guest, his son, who was just as old as you are, went out early in the morning to sell newspapers. I asked him why he did so he said that it was simply because he was wished to be independent and useful. Basically, these examples are being given by Ankar Inayat to prove the dignity of work, to prove in front of Akhtar that doing your own work yourself is not a shame. Okay? Dignity of work to realize about the dignity of work, very important if you want to make any kind of progress. If you move forward, if you want to do this, then you don't need to do any harm in this thing that you are doing your work. If we talk about the developed countries, in developed countries, there is no concept of having servants or maids. You all know, we all know that there are no servants or maids in the developed countries, in foreign countries. Everybody does his or her work himself or herself. Why? Because they know the importance of dignity of work. That is why Uncle Inayat told the children that in China, everyone is supposed to do work once in a year, working in the field or in a factory, even the Prime Minister and his wife do this work because they believe to do their work 
themselves. There is no shame in doing their work themselves. And another example that Uncle Inayat told them that once he was staying with a government official as a guest and his son who was just as old as Akhtar, he went early in the out early in the morning to sell newspapers. And when Uncle Inayat asked him the reason, he told that he wanted to be independent and useful. Okay, next. One day he fell ill. Who fell ill? The son of that government official who was selling newspapers. One day he fell ill. His father went out to deliver the papers for him so that he may not lose his customers. Okay? How important this example is. Once Uncle Inayat was staying with a higher government official, and the son of that high government official daily went out to sell the newspaper. And then Uncle Inayat asked him the reason. He said because he wanted to be independent and useful. One day he fell ill. His father, who was a high government official, went out to deliver the paper just because his son may not lose his customers okay once the president's own son took the job of whitewashing rooms in a hotel Roxana, uncle did you do any cleaning when you were there uncle oh yes i lived in a hostel where we swept our own rooms and cleaned our bathrooms once when I needed extra money for books, I washed dishes in a hotel. Okay, so these all are the examples about the companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, about the foreign countries, about Uncle Inayat himself, were explained by Uncle Inayat to the children to explain them that. Doing your own work yourself is not any kind of a shame or a punishment, okay? In foreign countries, in developed countries, everybody does his or her work himself or herself. There is no concept of having servants or maids in foreign countries. Look, now if I move a little bit back, I want all of you to learn all these examples of Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Ali, Hazrat Fatma, Caliph Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Mamunu Rashid, and Sultan Nasiruddin, and Emperor Aurangzeb. But why these are examples important? Because these examples are asked to you in the form of question answers, in the form of blanks or in the form of blanks and MCQs as well. You have to learn them very, very carefully. Which of the companion of the Holy Prophet did what? Holy Prophet, peace be upon him's companions have done all their work themselves. So you have to learn it. Okay, what are the works which were done by them? Okay, now we are moving towards the meanings I have told you. Sack means a rectangular chair shaped bag. Transcribing means to make a written copy of. Wages means a payment according to the contract. And labor means physical or mental effort. Okay. Now, who is going to give me the answers of these questions? Okay. First of all, before I ask you the questions, I hope everybody has written their present in the chat box. Nobody is left. The students who are present right now, everybody has written their attendance. Right now, I have 43 participants in my class. And I hope that all of you have written your attendance in the chat box. Nobody is left. Okay, Ryan, you are also present today. I think you have missed few classes, Peter. 
Even I did not receive your English literature journal for checking as well. Okay, let's start now. Let's move towards the questions now. You have read this paragraph. Okay, now we are moving towards the question answers and you people are going to give me the answers of these questions. First question, it's Hazrat Umar, not Hazrat Abu Bakr, okay? I want to ask you the question, what did Hazrat Umar do? Who has, who is going to give me the answer? What did Hazrat Umar do? What is the answer of this question? What did Hazrat Umar do? Hurry up, I'm waiting for your reply. What did Hazrat Umar do? Should I give you the answer now? Very good. Adina, Fawzia, very good. Hazrat Umar once carried a set of flowers for a needy family. Very good, Asra. Keep it up. Okay, let's move towards question number two. What did Hazrat Fatma do? Very good, Nabil. Very good, Bita. Fabiha. Very well. Yes. Faiza. Very good, Bita. Hazrat Fatma fetched water, ground corn, and swept her house herself. Very good. Okay, question number three. How did Sultan Nasiruddin earn his living? How did Sultan Nasiruddin earn his living? Yes. Maham, very good. Sultan Nasiruddin earned his living by making and selling caps. Very good, Adina. Maham, Fawzia, keep it up. Very good. By making caps, better. Yes, by making and selling caps. Okay. What does everyone do in China? Nabil, very good, Bita. What does everyone do in China? Yes, in China, everyone has to spend some time in factories or mills every year. Even the prime minister, the president and his wife as well. Okay, president and prime minister's wife as well. Okay, nobody is above this law. This law is implemented for everybody, even the prime minister and president as well. Yes, very good. Okay, let's move forward. Let's fill in the blanks. We have to fill the blanks. Akhtar was feeling cross. Here cross means? Yes, angry. Very good, very good. Children were very dashed to see Mr. Inayat. Yes, children were very happy. Nabil, glad is the right answer, but Peter, you have to write the option that is mentioned in your book. And in your book, happy bird is mentioned, okay? So you have to write happy. Children were very happy to see Mr. Inaya. They were having social dash week at school. Service, very good, very good. They were having social service week at school. Okay. The headmaster cleaned the dash. Very good, Nabil. The headmaster cleaned the bathroom. Yes, very good, Faiza. We should treat our dash as we treat ourselves. Servants. Very good. Hazrat, wait. 
Hazrat Abu Bakr fetched water for, if you remember, you have learned this line in your previous lecture on Monday. Yes, for widows and neighbors. Very good. Very good. Hazrat Ali labored in the garden of a Jew, yes. In China, everyone has to spend some time each year working in the fields or in a factory. Very good. Okay. Now there are two idioms given in the end of your lesson. The first one is by fits and starts and second one is day in and day out. What is the meaning of by fits and starts? By fits and starts mean not steadily or regularly. Kisi is ko continuously, mutawatir, uniformly, na karna is known as by fits and starts. What is the meaning of day in and day out? It means daily, rosana, day after day. Acha class 10, I want to remind you once again. I have told you one thing that at the end of most of the lessons, idioms are given. Beta, you have to learn these idioms with their meanings and sentences. A question of six marks. A question of six marks is given to you to make the sentences of the given idiom. So don't take these idioms lightly or don't take these idioms carelessly because a question is always given to you to make the sentences of the given idiom. You will be able to make sentences of the idioms if you learn their meaning. Jab tak aapko us idiom ka meaning yaad nahi hoga, you will not be able to use those idioms in your sentences. So please, please, I am requesting you, I am telling you that these idioms are very, very important for you to learn their meaning and their sentences. Obviously, nobody wants to lose six marks. This question is of six marks and you are supposed to make idioms, uh, sentences of these idioms. So obviously to make the sentences of these idioms, it is very important for you to learn their meanings first. Jab tak aap meanings yaad nahi karenge, you will not be able to use them in your sentences. Okay? So no need to worry at all because the sentences are also given in your book. You can learn the same sentences that are that are already given in your book. Kahi aur jaane ki zarurat hi nahi hai. Kuch se sentence making karne ki zarurat hi nahi hai. Yes, if you feel that you are good enough in making your own sentences, then go ahead. Apne sentences banaiye. Bahut achhi baat hai. But if you feel that you are not good at these things, so Go with the sentences which are given in your book. Okay? You can learn the same sentences that are given in your book. Okay. Once again, I want to make an announcement that the students who have just joined me, few students have just joined me. Kindly write present in the chat box if you are there, if you are attending the class, if you are listening to me, kindly write present in the chat box. I'm talking about the students who have just joined me. Okay, let's move forward now. Acha. For each word in list A, find a word or phrase of similar meaning in list B. Beta, in your book, an exercise is given where two lists are given. List A and list B. You have to write the similar meanings in front of these words. Or may you already cut you. This is the solve exercise in front of you. Okay, I will just explain you this exercise. Otherwise, this exercise is already solved. Okay, so the meaning of cross. Similar meaning is astonished. Obviously, I have to write the same meaning that is given in your book. I have picked this word from your book. Cross means astonished. Okay, reason Okay, I think I have not solved them. Let me check. 
yes i have solved that just a little bit changes are here yes cross means who is going to give me the answer of cross angry yes no it is not solved sorry beta it's not solved you are supposed to solve it cross means angry yes amar you are right beta okay what is the meaning of reason reason yes cause cause okay pleasant means pleasant who is going to give me the answer of pleasant specially liked okay no beta nabil pleasant means specially liked and what is the meaning of surprised yes surprised means astonished surprised means astonished yes okay favorite favorite means yes yes now pleasant the meaning of pleasant will be friendly and favorite will be specially liked okay i am again telling you pleasant will be friendly and favorite will be specially liked okay now what is the meaning of treat treat yes behaving towards somebody very good faiza aisha ammar very good treat means behave towards somebody okay noble noble means yes showing high character noble means showing high character fetched what is the meaning of fetched yes hamza very good fetch means went for and brought back fetch means went for and brought back and advanced means develop very good very good everybody you have done a great job advanced means develop okay so i hope today's lecture is clear to you is there any problem any confusion you can ask me beta any confusion or any problem you are most welcome to ask me any confusion regarding your quiz or anything you can ask me acha about the quiz i will tell you once again beta tomorrow is your english quiz english literature quiz and the syllabus that i have assigned you to prepare for your quiz is the first lesson the voice of god your quiz will be uploaded on google classroom after your tomorrow's lecture after your tomorrow's lecture your quiz will be uploaded on google classroom after completing your quiz you just have to click on the submit option your quiz will be automatically submitted to the concerned teacher and you can check your marks your scores as well it will be very very simple and very easy uh, there is no time limit for the first attempt because obviously this is your first attempt you are going to do your quiz for the first time so we are not going to give you the limit of less than 24 hours at least at least less than 24 hours you will be able to do your quiz and let me tell you one thing more that you will do your quiz for once only you are not supposed to do your quiz again and again okay you are supposed to do it for the once only after doing it once you will not be able to do it again aisha beta first lesson is very easy just go through it just go through it 